Hello everybody, Rebecca here with you for Mama's Treasures or I am Mama24, whichever channel you're joining me from, I welcome you here. I am at my craft desk. It is a miracle that my desk is cleared off enough that I can be filming here. Uh, this is my preferred spot to do my craft de-stash videos and here I am. I am thinning out my craft room in preparation for a move and I hope that you stick with me through the journey and uh, come shop my craft supplies. I probably have not made a card in over a year and I cannot stand the thought that my craft supplies are not being used. So I'm going to be thinning it out substantially, not getting rid of everything. There's some things that are just too dear to my heart, like my Copic markers uh, that I cannot part with. And I will be having a craft area in my new space um, regardless. I just won't be dedicating a whole room to it. So I want my craft supplies to be able to be used and I'm offering them to you here at a very great price as well. In my, in my opinion, they're great prices. Just a little bit uh, about me. I am a crafter turned vintage reseller. My husband and I um, man the channel Mama's Treasures. And we have been on a reselling journey. We bought an old estate home with all the contents included. That home has since been cleared out and sold. And we have just fallen in love with the whole vintage, um, vintage community here on YouTube. The reselling community has been so inviting and it's something that we've been enjoying together, which is wonderful and my craft supplies have been neglected. So uh, here I am trying to thin them out. So the way I conduct my de-stashes is kind of the same way that we do our live sales, which uh, happen every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you are interested in vintage and uh, um, all things collectible and vintage, I should say, um, I, we would love to have you over on Mama's Treasures for a sale. We'd love to see you in the chat, get to know you all a little bit better. So each item will be given an item number and the item number is the way that you will claim it in the chat. The first person to comment in the premiere, which is this video that you're watching right now, with the item number that will be in a live chat if you're commenting on the premiere. Um, once the video goes up on my YouTube channel, it will be just like a regular YouTube video and you can comment in the comment section to claim an item. You can also see who claimed what in the live chat by clicking live chat on the video. You'll be able to see what was claimed during the premiere. Um, but I will be keeping track of um, the items being claimed as they come in. I sell in Canadian funds. So if an item is a dollar, which there are many of in this sale, uh, it is in Canadian dollars. And I ship from Saskatchewan, Canada with Canada Post. And if you are a regular to our um, YouTube live sales on Saturdays, you know that I ship every two weeks, but um, for the craft sales, I will be invoicing you right away. To get me your information, use the email in the description to get a hold of me and send me your PayPal information and also your um, real name and complete mailing address so that I can get a proper shipping quote to you. Invoicing and payment is done through PayPal so that is why I need your PayPal information and we will get started here. It's going to be a long one so I'm going to start with this box of littles here and uh, there's going to be more items like this type of thing to come. Uh, I have six by six pads today, small embellishments, um, and just some random, oh yes, I have a whole bunch of stickers and just some other random bits and bobs that I kind of pulled off my desk. Um, so here I'm going to start with this item here. These are plastic uh, peacock feathers, cabochons. This is the back of them. 
So they can be glued on or probably sewn on to a project. And there's a whole bunch of different colors in there that you can see. And I've got the item number and price on the back of, of this. So the item number to claim these peacock feather cabochons is $149 and it is $2 Canadian. So the first person in the chat to type uh, $149, whether it be in the premiere or if it's not claimed there, um, in the comments after the video goes live. So there's those. These are little acrylic or plastic diamonds, pink and clear. And these, they're kind of like scatter because they do have the diamond shape. So you could put them um, as table scatter. Number 152, and this package is $1. I think these are diamond shapes as well. Yes, very, very pretty. Um, these are, they seem like a higher quality and they're tiny, tiny, tiny. I do not know the diameter of these little clear diamonds, but they are number 157 and they're $2. This is a pack of little tassels and they're so soft, but then they have these little rondelles that you can um, make into the charms and this is exactly how they came um they do have the jump rings on them already so you could make really cute little dangle charms this little ticket fell off of the charm pack it is number 160 and it's two dollars these are little flat backs they are kind of like a brownish amber tone um they're like rhinestones and they are one dollar for the package 154 for claim number these ones are i sold these in my um in my little zibit shop uh, for a while when i had it up and running uh, these are flat back but they they look like a little um raindrop um they, they're domed and they're clear, very, very pretty. They are $2 for the package and they're number 151. So these are about the same diameter as those previous brown ones I just showed. And these are red, of course, flat backed rhinestones, number 155, $1. These are, I also sold these in my Zibit shop actually. They are flat backed and quite flat. Um, a, a white leaf cabochon. There's a whole bunch in there, probably about 50. These are $1 and claim number 159. These are really sweet mermaid, or yeah, they're like mermaid scales. There's purple tones and teal tones in here. Flat back cabochons as again. These are two dollars, number one fifty three. These are by Making Memory, and one of the pearls has been used off of here. These are metal roses, and they do have the sticky on the back of them already. Uh, so these are one dollar, and they're number one forty three. What is this? Oh yes, more more um rhinestones these are like aurora borealis and the back is like they're, they're they're like a i don't know if it's like a grippy kind of a you can see that there it's got a textured back on it really really pretty rhinestones one dollar number 156 some sizzix sequins and this is actual sizzix brand sequins um, they are pink. They are number 145, $1. These are homemade enamel dots, um, made from melted perler beads or pony beads. And you cut them in half and then put them into the oven and you get the cutest little domed glossy um, dots that you can glue to your project and of course 
as many colors as there are in the rainbow you can get in pony beads or perler beads and uh, yeah so these were just melted um, melted probably pony beads these seem a little bit bigger one dollar for the pack and they are number 148 okay these were also made by me um, I've got two of these packages but I found them sitting in a teacup in my craft room and I thought somebody might see a use for them. Maybe they want to use them as purse charms. So I made, these are made from fish aquarium tubing and then these are like um, pinched bookmark closures, like a ribbon bookmark. And I just pinched them onto the aquarium tubing and put all kinds of pretty little beads in there put a lobster claw on top and some dangles on the bottom these um these chains tassels i used to sell in my zibit shop as well so in this package there is this one with uh, like christmassy these look so pretty hanging from uh, purses and then there's this one that i shaped like one of those yogurt tubes um so one going this way and one going this way and on the inside there is little snowflakes and some blue seed beads lobster claw and then a little bell and star dangle so those were so fun to make and uh yeah i just got a brainwave the one day and um, decided to make those but they're not doing anybody any good just sitting in a teacup so <laughs> Um, I'll see if somebody wants them here. I'm asking $4 for the two of these and they're number 147. So along the same lines, this one, I'll take these out as well. They're fun to show. These ones I'm also asking $4 for. Um, these have snowflakes in them and um, like bluish kind of beads. Again, the lobster claw and the same type of charms. They sound really nice with a bell. This one has uh, also gold tones, but this one has a Christmas wreath hanging from it. And it just has some really cute little Christmas colored seed beads inside. So I am asking $4 for these as well. And they are number 146. Oh boy, oh boy, I better, I better get crack in here. Not even through my first box. This is a broken necklace and they would be great to use as stick pins or other craft projects. So um, all the only thing missing is the string that this was attached to. I believe they're glass um, beads in a tan kind of a color. I, I've even got like the closure on here still. You can see right there. This is one dollar number one thirty-two. This is okay. This is a pair of clip-on earrings. They're metal, and they just scream steam, steampunk to me. And I threw in um, an adjustable ring base in there. And I'm not even sure what this is, but it is kind of steampunk and gearish. So I am leaving it in there. It's two dollars for the package, number one fifty-eight. These would be great for shaker cards, just um, pearlized hearts, open hearts. Uh, two dollars for the baggie, number one fifty. I've got some um, paper clips here. I love to alter paper clips. I've got a whole drawer full of altered, um, or pardon me, clothespins. Um, I do alter paper clips as well, but these are obviously wooden black clothes pins. One dollar for for the package, number one thirty. Um, I've got another package of clothes pins here. These are the little natural wood colored ones. Whole bunch in there. One dollar, number one twenty nine. Let me get through these enamel pins. Um, a whole bunch of craft companies have done this where they've made their own line of enamel pins. Uh, the, this is Brutus Monroe. This is a birdhouse. And they're quite expensive just buying them on their own. 
Um, but I'm selling this for $2, number 140. And that is the closure on it. It's like a lapel pin, I guess. And also Brutus Monroe, this is a Ferris wheel. Yes, that's a Ferris wheel. And see, yeah, they're like $10. Um, so $2, I'm asking number 139. Also from Brutus Monroe, this is like a balloon animal dog in blue. Uh, 138 is the claim number and $2. The Gray Muse also was doing enamel pins. And uh, this one is Excellence Award for Sending Happy Mail. Um, so this one has two closures on it. Number 136 and it's $2. Gray Muse, again, this is a super cute little um, paint tube. It says Dream, Create, Inspire. $137, $2. Do I have any more of those? Yes, I have one more. This one is by Simon Says Stamp. Beautiful purple butterfly. Um, $2, number 134. Also by Simon Says Stamp. My goodness, I have... I have drawers and drawers of sequins that I need to go through. So if sequins is something you're after, that will be coming up in another D-Stash video. But for now, I just uh, noticed I had a double of these. So these ones are the Party Time Sequins by Simon Says Stamp. $1 for the package and it's number 144. Oh, I've got another Gray Muse pin here. This one is the um, Ink Pad Organizer. Isn't that sweet? Um, also has two closures on it. They're, they're quite weighty, these enamel pins. Um, $2, number 135. This is a package of pin backs. And I can't remember if these are adhesive. Yes, I think they are adhesive. So it's like a, a pin back, but it has foam and peel back adhesive. There's a whole bunch of them there. These are $2, number 131. These are also a homemade item, again, in that same teapot. <laughs> These are stick pins, although you'll notice that they're not like pointy they don't stick so these would be great to put like in a salt and pepper shaker because it won't stab into a fabric um, but they're just made with um, lots of bead caps and some AB glass beads um, this one is two dollars number 128 okay so these um, this is of quite a few one two three four five five packages of unused watercolor unopened watercolor I'm not sure what you call them palettes or pads um, they are the really great brand I now I can't remember what it's called but um, they are from a really great brand that uh, a lot of the the crafters use this one is evergreen this one is cadmium red and this one is cracked up but that doesn't affect how it paints cadmium red turquoise green marine green and menthol violet so for all five of those and if you look them up online there are the item numbers and uh, I'm asking $10 for the five of these. And they are claim number 142. Okay, so this is also watercolor, but it is liquid watercolor by Hero Arts. And it does have one of these little daubers. I have not used it, but as you can see, it's full and got lots and lots of life. Um, in it and uh, this I'm asking two dollars for and it is number 141 okay this is plastic table scatter three different colors of snowflakes red blue and clear two dollars for the baggie number 112 
this is about half of the package of these rosette ribbons and kind of a peach or rosette roses pardon me um, I'm asking one dollar and number 126 for those this is a vintage unopened pack of clip-on earring backs uh, like you can put your whatever you want to make an earring onto there and I am asking one dollar for the package and number 125 oh these are so adorable and I have one myself that I'm keeping these are dress it up buttons um, called a stitch in time it even has like a needle so adorable a little sewing machine and some miniature spools um, yeah super adorable two dollars number 127 these are older sew on um, findings these are leaves and they are one dollar number 123 flat back so on however you want to put them on dragonflies one dollar number 122 oh, and these so cute art mines i think this is michael's um but i don't live in the u.s <laughs> i have lots and lots of um, crafting and vintage friends from the u.s but uh, maybe one of you would like these um these are one dollar number 121 doodads these are called quicksilver and they are just flat back um, silver embellishments as well as uh, lots of other little um, shaker scatter uh, really fun stuff in there this is one dollar number 117 a brand new package of pearlized um, sewing pins there are supposed to be 120 in here and there sure should be because I have not opened it and it does come in its plastic case so two dollars uh, number 116 these are so pretty and again I have a whole drawer full of uh, flat back pearls a um, whole different bunch of sizes and colors in here I just kind of grabbed two dollars for these and they are number 115 uh, this takes me back these are uh, file folder tabs or you can use them um, like in report covers or something like that it just has a, a removable adhesive and then the paper to write what you're filing there this package is one dollar number 113 the only stamp pad I have in today's D stash um, actually, I don't really have a lot of stamp pads to de-stash um, other than brand new unused Catherine Pooler that I never got around to using. Um, but anyways, I, dig I digress. This is the Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black. A lot of juice left in it. It's $2 for the stamp pad and it is number 96. And of course, you can buy the refill um, to re-ink your stamp pad. But um it does have a lot of life left in the felt. So there's that. And these are glitter leaves and pumpkin stick-ons. $124, $1. Oh, these are super cute. These are canes. Um, people use them for nail art, but you can use them in shaker cards. All you have to do is like, this is a, um, a cuttable and pliable kind of a um, cane and you just cut with a utility knife really really thin slices and you can put them onto deco den or different things like that, that look so sweet on the faux deco den like whipped cream absolutely adorable so there's a whole bunch of different kinds of fruits there um, and you could probably cut like 200 slices <laughs> uh, this is two dollars number 161 um, I've got some punches to get through this one is one of those handheld punches and um, it is of course a heart that is the actual size there and this is the actual size here I have punched them out so one dollar for this and it is number 114 this is also this one is a squeeze punch oops oh, oh I just I just made I just did it <laughs> oh my goodness okay number 108 
$2 for the soother. Um, so yeah, there's going to be like post-it note sticky soother in there. But as you can tell, it works great. Um, 108, $2, and it's one of those squeeze punches. These are so nice to use. If you have arthritis, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt your hand. Um, really great product. Uh, these, on the other hand, are a little bit harder to use. If you, if you have arthritis in your fingers, uh, these might give you a problem. Um, all of these, I did punch them all, so I know that they work well. Um, but this little paw is number 111, $1. And you pull it off like this to get out your little punches. Um, yeah, so there is what it punches. The butterfly is by Studio G. There is the butterfly punched. Number 110, $1. This one does not have a little uh, compartment to hold your punches. This one does have a compartment. This is a star, very nice one. Um, and this one uh, punches like this and it has a flip. So it's not gonna, you're not gonna lose your little plastic compartment piece. So there is, there is that punch, um, $1, number 109 for that. Oh, these are awesome. Um, if you have one of those, light up boards these are the tiles that you can slip in um let's see here grab my ruler to give this a measure um i think they're the two inch ones let's see one and three quarter so they're the one and three quarter inch and they're by tim holtz they're transparent tile alphas in black and white I am asking $3 for the package, and they are number 98. More vintage jewelry. Um, these closures are so nice. When I, I love finding jewelry with these kind of closures on them. They're brass filigree clasp, gold plated, and there's 20 pieces in here. I do believe that they're all there. Um, I am asking $2 for them, and they are number 102. So yeah, it's, it's that kind of a closure, if you can see it. And that of course is the back of it, where you just pull it apart like that. So here is, what are these? These are velvet ribbons. Um, and they do have like, um, these would be great to use as bookmarks because they do have that little pinchy thing on the end of it already. And then you can put like a charm on it. So very, very cute. Um, nice colors, very, very soft by B Landing. $1 for the package, number 99. Okay, I have a whole bunch of, what are these called? Bobby pins. Um, some of them have pairs, some of them are singles. Uh, great for, um, to use as to paper clip in journals. And of course, they're beautiful. Um, all different kinds in there. Um, they've been sitting in my craft room for too long. Number 101 and $2 for the whole package. Now these are elastic cord. And they're wonderful to make um, baby headbands or children's headbands. If you're into that kind of thing. This is by the Cousin brand. There is four pieces in here and you get 1.5 meters of each color. And this is $2 for the whole bundle and it is number 91. This one, I think there was a black one that was used off of this. Um, so this one is just missing one color. So that's why I'm asking $1 for this. And it is number 90, but really great quality, soft elastic. I've got a little package of these faux leather. Uh, you, can, you can either sew them onto a project or glue them onto a project. They're kind of like made with love. Yes, handmade. So there is this kind in the package. And then there's also this kind. So... There's just a few of them there. 
one dollar and they're number 133 some brads these are just square brads one dollar number 120 these are um who are they by creative charms yes creative charms they're all in here really really pretty um like faux pearl centers to these brads they are two dollars number 119 these brads are like clear light green and then like an emerald green different sizes two dollars number 118 I've got a nice big package here of all kinds of vintage game pieces. I don't know what these, I don't know what these are. Someone, like, are they for tiddlywinks? I'm not sure what that is. It says made in HK, Hong Kong, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, just poker pieces and uh, checker pieces, little, little um, round, I'm not even sure what you would use these for, but they've got some aging to them already. Super cool. This is $2, number 103. A brand new twine. This is by Maya Road. It's in celery green, and there's 100 yards of it on here. Um, $3, number 92. Look what they were asking originally for that. Three dollars, number ninety-two for that one. Great for spring or Easter. This one is a camera by Recollections, and it has been used. It has been stamped a few times, but it is a beautiful image of a camera. One dollar, number ninety-five. Uh, this one is absolutely gorgeous, and I bought it with Bible journaling in mind. Quiet the worries. This is by Hampton Art. And it is by Illustrated Faith. And I believe I bought, yeah, I bought this one at Hobby Lobby when I visited um, North Dakota one time. I never even stamped it. So this one is $3, number 94. This Tim Coffee and Inka Dinka Do Snowman. Um, and I've never even stamped him. He's probably about four inches tall great display piece just to prop up on a on a display somewhere a uh, three dollars number 93 and i have lastly a f in this box a few wider washi tapes so this one is just as you can see a floral uh, green with hot pink floral it is one dollar number 107 quite a bit on there yet and I will measure it's two inches wide this one and then I have three even wider washies this one is three inches so the, the rest here are three inches so you can see that this is Mickey Mickey head there it is number 106 one dollar for the Mickey washi I don't recall ever using it, so there should be as much on there as was new. This one is, oh yes, this one is also intended for Bible journaling. It's the owl and it says faith on it. Be happy. And as far as what the other owls say, be brave. Yeah, I'm not sure. Just so cute, the little owls. This one is also $1, number 104 for that one. And another owl washi. Look how sweet. Um, yeah, I think you get the whole idea here. So again, four inches wide, one dollar, and it is number 105. Well, look at me. I got through one box. Okay, so I am going to get right into uh, another box here. I'm just going to clear this away. First item up here in this next round is a stamp set. And this is from a few Stampin' Up! stamp sets. Um, this one is um, uh, an invitation. And it is actually, it's called Dot Invitation, this one. But I'm not sure which or if any of these came with it because they are stamped a different year. 
Uh, so you get a hello stamp, thanks a bunch, created for you, thinking of you. And then this one here with the wedding bells. And it also has the tiny little stamp on the opposite end that says um, ever after. So yeah, this one says 2003 on it. So I'm not sure what went with what here. So that is what they look like on the back. And for this set, I'm asking $5, and it is number 76. It will come in this clamshell case as well. Next up, I have, these are by k and Company. And they are like little journaling, tuck spots, um, postcards. So double-sided, super cute. This one says summertime. And I will just give you a really quick flip through of them. Look, this is a Wahoo. We were just there. Paradise. Wonders of the world. Again, summer. Super cute. So for all of these, I am asking $1 and it is number 77. More journaling cards. These are by Little Birdie. This is the Aqua Medley. Um, here's all the kinds that you get in here. There should be, there should be 24 in here. I'm not gonna guarantee it. I may have used one or two, um, but they're four by six size, beautiful journaling cards. And there is a sample of one of them. Like you put that on a card front and you're done. Beautiful. Um, $2, number 75. <clears throat> This is also by Little Birdie, the Little Birdies. Um, uh, this is the Woodland Stories, but it is by Little Birdie brand. And there is a sample of one of them, four by six, 12 designs, $2, number 74. <clears throat> These are beautiful laminated, um, but you can layer them up to make the image pop. These are punched paper, and they're not quite four by six size, but um, I've seen people laminate them and use them as bookmarks or like post-it um, spots in their like traveler's notebooks, and they look beautiful laminated. So that was my intention buying this. Just never got around to it. And this is $2 number 73. All right, now I'm going to show you the six by six pads that I have available. This one is brand new, not cut into. This is by Recollections. It is a single sided, super, super girly and sweet. This is called Ooh La La, and it is the six by six paper pad, um, $4, number 42. Six by six paper pads were my favorite to make. Um, oh, let's see here. What are they called? Pocket letters. Um, like, you know, you, you, the sports pages, and then you have the 12 to decorate. And if you used a non directional six by six paper pad, you could get four, no, five cuttings plus all the scraps from one six by six paper sheet. And if you're using a double-sided paper pad, uh, you get like your choice of patterns and it was just so great. Um, this one is also by Craftsmith. This one is called Summer Dream. And, and these cut aparts, I always use those for pocket letters. See, like something like this this would be non-directional so you could just cut it and it didn't matter if it was horizontal or vertical you could just pop it in and not worry if it was backwards or upside down um yeah so there's that one single sided again brand new four dollars number 71 <clears throat> this is by my mind's eye just splendid record it and it has very pretty pastels Look at the little cameras. Okay, so this one is double-sided. 
double-sided cardstock, really, really pretty colors, and then it just repeats. This one should be uncut, and it is $4, number 70. A Christmas one, this is by American Crafts, and it's simply called Christmas. You get 36 sheets in this one, and they are single-sided, brand new, not cut into. I love traditional colors, and I love the use of wood grain. And this one even has blue in it, which is, which is kind of neat. Okay, there's that one. Three dollars, number sixty-nine. This one isn't in a pad form; it is loose paper, but it is—it's a paper pack, is what they call it. And it's by the brand Altenew, and it's called Pastel Dreams. 24 six by six papers in here and you kind of get an idea of what the patterns are there you go very pretty again this one is four dollars number 67 okay this one is doodle bug paper and it is now this one i will open because you don't really get a picture of what's in here this is how it was packaged and I think it was just like a sampling of Doodlebug papers. Um, and I love Doodlebug. Love, love, love Doodlebug. So these are a sampling of their cheerful, fun, kitschy like patterns. Just so, so beautiful. And of course, there's the rainbow one. Um, so this one just has, I think there's 12 sheets in here and I am asking $2 for this and it is number 66. Okay. LDRS creative. This one is Holly Jolly holidays and it is again, not a pad, so you don't have to rip the papers off, but it is all loose in here, but cut for you really pretty look at this little snowman reaching for the heavens so cute four dollars number 65 this makes me want to make a pocket letter boy i tell ya okay this is pink fresh studios also christmas holiday vibes and i think this one is brand new as well oh look at the little deer and bunnies and the mouse so sweet very very cute single-sided and then it repeats four dollars again for this one and it is number 64. this one has been cut in two but it's a giant um, graphic 45 paper pad, uh, 12 patterns, 36 sheets. So you get three of each sheet and these are uh, the ones that you get. So you get the blues, the pinks and the browns and graphic 45 is really great with interchanging um, their collections to have their staple colors. So you can kind of use this w with whatever graphic 45 paper you're using so that is really fantastic thing that graphic 45 does and I have used this one I think I used it to make a pocket letter um but this one is uh three dollars number 63 <clears throat> jelly bean soup this one is called grandma's lima bean soup single sided but look how sweet. Oh, I love that one, the vintage papers. So you get three of each design. And then the borders. So cute. That's an awesome paper pad. $3, number 62. Uh, Echo Park, Petticoats and Pinstripes. Beautiful paper again, looks uncut. 24 double sided sheets in this one. Just try and give you a flip through here. Great vintage feels. Very pretty. I am asking $4 and it's number 61. Okay. 
So these are matte stacks. Um, this one in particular is by Kane Company and Tim Coffee, the designer. Um, so they're perfect to matte four by six photos. And I think um, maybe one or two are missing out of here. I'm not certain, I won't say for sure. So um, they're probably about five by seven. Well, let's see here. They are, they're great to mat four by six. So I think they might be five by seven, uh, four and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. So you get a three quarter inch mat around. So I'm asking $2 for the mat stack and it is number 61. This is another mat stack by K and Company, but this one is, um, it's shaped really cool. Um, unused and the Kane Company paper is typically double-sided and it's just beautiful so again it would mat a four by six picture beautifully and it's it's taped shut there so I'm not gonna try and open it but it is it's beautiful beautiful paper um, three dollars number 60 for that it's the edamame um, brand and I just so happened while I was going through my stickers and die cuts, noticed that I had kind of a collection of the Bow Bunny game on. Now I know I made my son a birthday card um, because of the soccer stuff here. He plays soccer one year with this, with the paper pads. So there is a few little cutouts in there, but I always put my um, scraps together with the remaining cardstock. So. Uh, this originally had 36 pages and there's not much um, used. So there is the the uh, six by six game on paper pad. And with this, I have, I did use a couple of these die cuts for the card as well. Um, but these are what was in the original package. There is maybe one, two or three missing out of there. Um, so that is the die cuts for the Bull Buddy Noteworthy. And then I also came across the clear stickers for this collection. So there's four sheets in here and these are unused. So these are the stickers that you will get. And for the three, the bundle here, the Game On Bow Bunny, $7, number 68. And one more paper pad. This one is by Bella Boulevard. It is six by eight, six by eight. Um, Secrets of the Sea. If you like mermaids, this one will be for you. And it includes two exclusive patterns. So this one is just super adorable. And again, I did use it probably to make my granddaughter a, a birthday card at one point. So I put my scraps back in here. Um, but this is six by eight. And I'll just give you flip of the papers in here very pretty cheerful colors I think it's just repeating okay so there is that one so I'm asking four dollars for that and it is number 59 Okay, let's see here. Move this aside and get into this stationery bundle. Um, this is the only stationery I have in today's sale. And I think it might be a combination of two, but I'm putting it together as a bundle. So you will get this. Look at this girl. She is loving life. She is in her bath. That is the stationery paper. And these are the envelopes on this side. You will get, <laughs> she's so fun. Um, yeah, so there's that one and the jester. And then on the opposite side is the jester paper. So there's the paper, there's quite a bit left. And then the cactus envelope. And then a couple of these roses. So the cactus you will see repeated on this 
here in her beautiful bathroom. So for the stationary letterhead and envelopes, I am asking $4 and it is number 58. And one, a first of many handmade albums. I am notorious for making these and then not putting pictures in them or journaling in them. I just love to create. So um, this one is by uh, Made With Graphic 45's Le Cirque. Um, and there's just lots of fussy cutting going on here. And I did some distressing. And it's just bound together with all of these colorful little um, ribbons. And um, the, the paper pad, of course, is, is what uh, is the great part about this. So just showcasing some of the beautiful papers that are in here. You can tuck, um, you can tuck your photos behind the die cuts. And this, um, there's this here with more paper stacks. So fun, the circus theme. This, you can either put it like, because it's done with, um, it's, it, it's hinged here with jump rings, so you can either have it like this, or you can have it like this. Let me open it up. So you can put journaling spots or whatever you want to put there. And um, again, you could put it like that. Just super, super fun um, paper on chipboard so it's sturdy and yeah. Just a quick, fun little album, nor more distressing and ripping of the paper back here. Um, but this one I am asking $5 for, and it is number 78, if you are interested in that mini album. It is, let's see here, six by eight, seven. Seven by six is what the size of that one is. I have two very fun pieces of fabric in today's D stash. This one I think would be so fun to make pillows out of for your summertime enjoyment. These ladies are just full of life and they are enjoying themselves out on the beach and they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women um, but uh, it is by Mary Stewart for Elizabeth studio and there is a good chunk here you could probably make two throw cushions out of that pattern um, I am asking three dollars for this chunk of fabric and it is number two my next piece of fabric is substantially larger, but it does have two pieces. Okay, so this one also thought of making throw pillows. This is a smaller remnant on the inside and you can tell it's a cowboy theme. I'll turn it this way. Really cool, the cactus and the cowboy. Um, so there are, they're on the horses, lassoing, there's cows and um, he is running. Really, really cool fabric. This one is by, let's see here. Um, Rio Grande collection by Peter Pan Fabrics. So there is that chunk and I have not measured it. It is substantial and it feels like really great quality. I'm asking $5 for this chunk of fabric and it is number one. More fabric, but in a very different way. This is a Scrub It Clean by Pink and Main. This is for cleaning your stamps. So you would just um, wet it with water, wring it out like you would any other rag and scrub it, scrub your stamps clean. Um, this was a two pack, so I have one myself and it works great, but I am letting this one go. It's new, unused, $2, number 86. 
this cute little R chevron, uh, probably Michael's little case. I'm just not using it. So if someone wants to buy this, it is $1 number 100. Zipper works fantastic. And also this one is a burlap, um, new unused plastic zipper. And what brand is this? American Crafts. And it has the like almost red orange cotton on the inside. This one is number 87 and it is $1. Again, the zipper works great. Okay, this, I made this as well. I made this for a design team um, project for Queen of Crafts at uh, one point. And I had intended to use it for um, documenting my garden, like um, putting my seeds in and everything. Um, and I made it specifically to store my seed packets in, like my flower seeds and journal about it, but I never got around to it. Um, so I am offering it here. It is made from a paper bag and it's a really sturdy paper bag. I've used um, this hardware here to close it and these leather straps bind it and make the closure. Um, yeah, so you just open it up like this and you can stuff it full of all of your <laughs> Um, gardening or whatever you would want to use it for but I've made a pocket here and then there's just um, little ephemera pieces that also came from Queen of Craft this is a sticker flake but it's like a pussy willow so you could put that wherever you wanted and then these beautiful sheets of paper um, very flora and fauna esque and um, I slit the side of this envelope to make another tuck spot um, just a beautiful paper and I was so inspired to just create this gardening journal um, but I never got around to using it so I just put different papers here and there this was another paper bag um, this is a sticker sheet of butterflies so you can see it's be it's bound there we're not in the center yet though but the paper is just absolutely stunning um, this is another inked sticker and here is some vellum stickers that is from the items that I used so yeah seed packets would be a great thing to store in here this is the center so you can tell here how I've tied it together and another spot for pockets and different stickers to use for journaling and things like that and yeah I'll just keep going here and you can see the beautiful papers another tuck spot here another sliced end of a bag and I just decorated it Here is some more stickers in that little envelope. Super cute. And then this is the back cover. So here you can see the envelope or bag that I used. This would be the opening of the bag. And I just folded it like so to make the cover for my journal. So there it is. Um, Lots and lots of expansion <laughs> to be had here. If anybody is interested in this, I'm asking $10 and it is number 85. Okay, some more books. This is a fit book, um, just um, coil bound. And it just, a, a, just a book to keep track of strength training and um, what you're eating and your food log, just different things like that. It's about five by five, five and three quarter 
and six is what it is. And then it has that kind of a closure on it. $2 for this unused number 84. And I have a few more books here. This one is called My Adorable Dog. And you can put a photo of your dog here, a journal and keepsake book. So here's where you slide that photo into. And of course, it's just a super cute little journal of all things the puppy did. Firsts and achievements and favorites. Just so fun. So this one I am asking, it's hardcover, uh, $4 and it is number 83. Okay, who loves cats? This one is a journal with kitty cats. It has lined paper and all the little kitty cats have names. That's Jack and Amelia and Sadler and Sterling. So sweet. And then they repeat. Just love the kitty cats in here, but I'm not using it. So if somebody would like to, it is $4, number 82. This one is a hardcover notebook. Um, it's quite a bit larger, 10 by seven. It does have the word notebook embossed here on the cover and it's like a limey green kind of a color. It does have that elastic closure again and um, it's unused lined paper. Really beautiful quality, this notebook. And it is $3, number 81. My next one, um, you may have seen in a live sale previously. Uh, this one is a friend's address book. There is one page missing here, but I don't know what it might have been. Um, and of course it is to hold your addresses and it has beautiful pictures in here. It's from 1995 and it just has beautiful images and it works through the alphabet of course to keep track of addresses it is unused just a beautiful book and it is three dollars number 80 and my last book is like a traveler's journal i should have brought this to hawaii but i forgot that i had it um it's called Souvenirs de Voyage, and it is just absolutely stunning. It has places that you can like draw. If you're sitting on the beach and you feel like drawing, you can slip um, like things into the vellum envelopes that are scattered about. Here's another one. Um, but yeah, there is lots of blank pages, but then there's lined pages and then there is um, some more decorative pages here towards the front. So here are some pages with some writing and inspiration and more envelopes. So beautiful. It's from 2002. So this one is $5 and it's number 79. The next container I have to get through is mostly stickers. Um, there's a few things here that are not, and I'll go through those first. This is a Dauber bottle by We Are Memory Keepers. So you could do all kinds of stenciling or mixed media art with this. New unopened, it is number 97 and it is $2. This package here is so fun. It is like confetti flakes in teal and gold. So pretty. It's made by Recollections. I don't think it's been opened. $2, number 57 for that. 
this package is also from Michael's. These are little like, uh, you could put them in cupcakes or really anywhere. You can tuck them anywhere. Just little, little pretty pieces of sunflower attached to the toothpick tops. And there is a dozen in there. One dollar number 89 for those. This is another notepad. Beautiful, beautiful. Peacock, um, really glittery. It has a magnetic closure. That's what the back looks like. I think the Punch Studio, I think that's from Hobby Lobby. This is the inside of the notepad. And then the beautiful note paper. So gorgeous. Snaps closed like that. $2, number 56. All right, so let's get into these stickers. Um, these American Crafts Halloween stickers, I have five of. So you can claim up to five of them. Um, you could put the item number times two or however you want to do it in. If you, if you put that number in once, I will put you down for one. So these are, they're the long sticker packs. Like here's my hand and uh, they're long, uh, but you get two sides of stickers. They're brand new unused and it's got that ho hollow or a hollow uh, effect to them. They're from Be Beautiful Night. There's 80 stickers and of course American Crafts. And I have five of them. So they are claim number three and they're $2 a pack. This is also a large sticker sheet, but I only have one. This is by Pebbles and there's 52 in here. Obviously an Independence Day theme. And this is the back really sweet and these are number four three dollars k and company also another long sticker pack uh, these are like little pictures super sweet they would go great in that um in that journal i just showed you and they match the postcards um that i uh showed you a while back. So these are by Brenda Walton. There's 12 pieces in here, $2, number five. Cat stickers. These are chipboard kitty cat stickers. And for the pack of these, I'm asking $1, number six. Little Yellow Bicycle. These are Christmas stickers and they are made from fabric. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there is like a fabric overlay on the chipboard and this one even has a pin in it. So these are $2, number seven. Heidi Swap. This is um, unused. These are rub-ons. These are stickers, and then these are frames. Looks like there's one been used out of here. And these are $2, number eight. Ooh, these are gorgeous. These are by Prima, the Moonchild collection, and they're like epoxy stickers, really pretty. They're probably about a one and a half inch diameter super domed pretty stickers two dollars number nine these stickers here i believe are from the dollar tree they are dimensional heart themed one dollar number ten um these i believe are from the dollar store as well unopened christmas pack of tags one dollar number 11. these stickers sort of have like that um melted metal kind of a look to them they're hearts steampunk kind of one dollar number 12 and these have the same idea going on except they're owls 
really cute. They're kind of like a rainbowy effect. One dollar, number thirteen. Beautiful, uh, like puff stickers. These are by um, One Canoe Two. This is from the Hazelwood collection. There's twenty-one floral puffy stickers in this package. One dollar, number fourteen. These are gem stickers by Jolie. Um, Christmas trees, these are, but they're all made of rhinestones and they're self adhesive. $2, number 15 for those. Again, the same idea here uh, by Jolie's, but these are candy canes and candies, of course. Super fun, $2, number 16. Kitty cat and puppy stickers. These are shakers. How fun is that? There's sequins in there, domed, clear domes. One dollar, number 17. Prima, the Saint Tropez collection. These are puffy stickers as well. Beautiful, beautiful um, ocean themed paper. Uh, collection that is. So this one is $2, number 18. Oh, more shakers. These are unicorns. Fun, fun. These are also $1, number 19. I have a whole filing cabinet full of stickers, so it's time that I uh, scaled things back. I ripped my tag here. These are by uh, crepe paper and poolside. They're self-adhesive sequins designs on here. So they're sewn together sequins and then they've made them into stickers. This one is $2, number 20. More shakers, really fun. Mermaids and unicorns. These are, and they're puffy. $2, number 21 for that pack. EK Success and Sticko, four different costumes in these like epoxy kind of stickers. $2 for this pack, number 22. Oh, this is fun. I was at the dentist today. Uh, Jolie's Boutique, uh, dimensional stickers is what they're calling them. But look at all the little tools. Oh my goodness, it's so awesome. The x-rays, $3 for that pack, and it's number 23. These are like foiled kind of leaves by Sticko. $1, number 24. Epoxy Frogs by Sticko. Cute, very cute. I just cannot keep them all. One dollar, number 25. Also by Sticko and EK Success. These are like foily kind of wintry words. One dollar, number 26. A Valentine's Day sticker. This is like a, a border could use it as a border for your scrapbook page. I love you. So nice. $2, number 27. Okay, this is an unopened four pack of glitter stickers by, from Hallmark. 24 pieces and there's four sheets of this. $2, number 28. Okay, this one, I, this one I'm doing for $2 because there is, there's one used here and I believe there's one sticker sheet missing out of here, but it's like a, um, it's fancy that pearl stickers, kind of wedding themed. This one is $2, number 29. Again, more puffy stickers. These are just super fun to put in your journals. Just different kinds of images on there. Whole bunch. $2, number 30. Number 31 is also puffy stickers, but these are by October Afternoon 
um, apple cider collection. They call them pillow puffs. And there are two stickers missing here, or three. I must have used them on a pocket letter uh, at one point in time, but super fun for Thanksgiving. $2, number 31. These are die cuts by Alexandra Renke. They are based out of Germany. I actually did um, a design team a position with Alexandra Renke uh, about a couple of years ago. It was really, really fun. Uh, these are cut apart. So you just like cut off the little, the little connectors and you have yourself some die cuts. Uh, $1 number 32. These are by Prima Rub-Ons. They are called Be Thankful. And that is what they look like there. That is the color of them. $2, number 33. I believe these are from the Dollar Tree as well. They are little mason jar cups. Really cute. $1, number 34. These dimensional butterflies are from the Dollar Tree as well. They're the foil ones that are really dimensional. People were making shaker cards out of the packaging as well. So $1 for these and they are number 35. Ooh, these are fun. Um, fabric rosettes. Uh, they're calling them fabric art. Six pieces in here by Brenda Walton and Kay and Company. $2 for the pack, number 36. Sugar Skulls by Sticko. They're all there, really foiled and fun. $1, number 37. This is a stamp, an acrylic stamp, and then these are flare buttons. Um, they are from the Stationer's Desk Collection by Prima. And for this package, it's $3, number 38. The stamp is unused. Um, I came across another pack of these. These are Halloween Ephemera by Tim Holtz. These are new, unused. There is kind of a peaky of all the die cuts that you get. $3, number 39. Okay, I kept some of these for myself, um, but there's eight of the Flamingo clips left. Doodlebug, one of my all-time favorites. These are the Flamingos in two different pinks and $3 for the remainder of the package, number 40. Oh, super fun Christmas stickers by Simple Story. This is from their classic Christmas collection. And here are the stickers that you get, even a, even a whole bunch of words. And Alpha, $3, number 41. Easter bling eggs, little blingy sequins and glitter. Super fun, $1, number 42. Coming to the end here, thank you so much for sticking with me. These are called snappy frames. They are self-adhesive chipboard frames. And I think all eight are still in there. Pretty colors. One dollar for the pack, number 43. These are so fun as well. These are from Michaels, the little puppies. Look, he's wearing his beret. His bone says woof and he's winking. Super cute. Uh, two dollars number 44 these are heavy uh they're glass cabochons um but they're self-adhesive uh they're called they call them curios and this one is by the kaiser craft um two souls um paper pack and uh, they're they are like wedding themed mr and mrs and they've got the rings there and some florals Beautiful domed glass. You can feel it, they're cold. Beautiful pieces. $3, number 46. Also, these curio pieces by Kaiser Craft Paisley Days. 
This one says, be happy. Very, very pretty. $3, number 46. Oh, I've got 46 twice. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one as 46, and we'll do this one as 46A. I wonder what I have on my paper. Okay, 46A for this one. All right, this one is um, Jolie's, and they are blackbirds in cages. Kind of fun. One dollar, number 47. Oh, these owls are so cute. They're like, they're made to look like um, the, their bodies are acorns and they're wearing little hats and scarves. How sweet. And of course the googly eyes. So dimensional. Two dollars for that pack, number 48. These Jolie's goblets, I think they're made of resin. Um, they're, they're very dimensional and solid. Cool. Halloween kind of a, a look to them. One dollar, number 49. These are like those owls, except these are like glittery skulls. Look at his fancy hat and crown. Okay, so yeah, they're super dimensional. These are two dollars, number 50. Uh, these are enamel stickers by now and then in my mind's eye one dollar number 51 super fun little rubbery stickers yeah rubber stickers mermaid themed miraculous look at the mermaid fin so fun two dollars number 52 these are also cut from a package. These are by Prima. I think it's the um, engraver collection that did these paper clips. Of course, these are keys. So you get three of them for one dollar, number 53. These epoxy stickers are um, clear and they are by um, Oh Dear Me. And yeah, they're stickers, clear star stickers, $1, number 54. And my very last item, thank you so much for sticking with me. Very last item is these vial labels by Tim Holtz. They're black and red, and there is just a peeky at them. These ones are $2, and they are number 55. Oh my goodness, I did it. I got through and I can still speak. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for supporting my D-stashes. There will be more to come. Um, you can use the email to get a hold of me if you're looking for anything specific. I am seriously downsizing my craft room um, in anticipation for a move. And uh, I'm not in any giant hurry, but it's one of those things that needs to be done. So if you are looking for anything, you can get a hold of me. And uh, thank you all again. If you have any questions, you can email me or ask me in the comments section. I thank you all so much for being here and for supporting me. And bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day.